Hey, I'm RFX Mars. Here we go again. This time they found a bunch of rocks in India. You can see the rocks here. They're claiming they're tools. I don't see any evidence of that whatsoever. And they're saying that it proves that humans left Africa a lot earlier than what is thought. The same basic theme as my last Mad Science update. The rocks. Can't you people understand that? I don't see any evidence these are stone tools. Alright, last one. More right. Well, nah. That, one, that one's close, but... It don't look like they've been carved or anything. Anyway. We are all children of Africa. No, we're not. I'll show the site that they're uh, referring to. New fossils from Jebel Irhoud, Morocco, and the Pan-African origin of Homo sapiens. Fossil evidence links an African origin of Homo sapiens from a group of, called either H not going to happen, or H, not going to happen. I have to do the second one. H, Roden, Ciensis. Now they're calling us rodents or something. Uh, how are the exact place and time of emergence of H sapiens remain obscured because fossil records are scarce and the chronological age of many key specimens remains uncertain. Say that again. Well, that's what they're talking about when they're calling us children of Af Africa. That is making me angry. I'm not a child of Africa. Mars, maybe, but not Africa. So, back to the article in Quartz. As members of the hominin species. No, I'm a human. I'm not a hominin. Homo sapiens, you and I are the product of millions of years of a shared evolutionary history of life on Earth. That is BS. That is bullshit. But as a species, we are relatively recent, emerging between 400,000 and 300,000 years ago in East Africa from indigenous archaic populations. What on Earth does that mean? Currently, some of the biggest questions facing paleoanthropology involve trying to work out how why early humans left the continent. Wasting your time. Was it a single dispersal or multiple? <laughs> a recent discovery of jawbone in Israel, which, I, which is the last one that I covered, suggests that there may have been migrations about as early as 180,000 years ago. But a new study published in Journal Nature suggests early humans may have left Africa a lot earlier than that. <laughs> so now they're uh, adding to the pot, I guess. New research reports Discovery of tools from the Middle, Middle Paleolithic, Paleolithic 200,000, 40,000 years ago in Tamil, Nadu, India. Surprisingly, the tools date back to 385,000 years ago, which is around the same time as this technology is thought to have been developed by archaic or possibly modern humans in Africa. Modern humans? What are you talking about? If there were humans back then, they weren't anything like what is living on this planet today. What are you talking about? The A site, I'm not going to try that one, is located on the banks of a stream in 
the K River in northeast Tamil Nadu. Excavations by a team of Indian researchers revealed abundant layers of stone tools wrapped with, trapped within sediments deposited by streams which ran through the area in pre prehistory. They're rocks, you idiots. There's no evidence to me that they were carved. The site appears to have been sporadically occupied by apes and early hominins, predating homo sapiens. I'm not a hominin! You can shove that where the moon doesn't shine! I'm getting angry! As far back as 1.7 million years ago. Using data te dating technique called infrared stimulated luminescence, which pinpoints last time sediment grains were exposed to light, the authors determined the silts and gravels which contain the tools date back to three to between 385,000 and 172,000 years ago. All that uh, sells it. They're not tools, they're rocks. Can't you see that? These tools chart the transition from Archeon hand axe culture created by archaic humans of the lower paleo Paleolithic to smaller tools. The latter were produced by a more sophisticated tech called the Valios, involving production of stone tools and blades. That's a rock. Unbelievable. I'm gonna skip down. Yeah, one or two of the, these I can almost let slide, but most of them just look like rocks. This is utterly ridiculous. Now they're going around picking up rocks and telling us it proves that our ancestors came from Africa. Just imagine that. They're telling us it proves that our ancestors came from Africa hundreds of thousands of years ago, and these rocks prove that. This is utterly ridiculous. This isn't science. I can tell you what it is. It's called the mental disorder of liberalism. Because liberals would think like this. They're stuck on this asinine idea that we all came from Africa. Which I don't see any evidence for whatsoever. Well, that's the mental disorder of liberalism for you. Who knows, maybe somebody next week will up the ante to uh, 500,000 years ago. Who knows? This is insanity. We don't know. We don't know about our origins. This is my whole point. I don't, really. I tend to suspect we may have come from Mars, but there's nothing I can prove there, so I can't state it as fact. That's personal belief. That's it. This is utterly ridiculous. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.